welcome to my opinion here on my opinion tv don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell so as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified upon hearing of my voice today we have much to give god thanks for so many people went to bed last night with the dreams and aspiration of getting up this morning and are not numbered among the living so no matter what the situation is no matter what your circumstances is as long as you're alive you have much to give god thanks for now today our attention switches to kingston or fred hills road to park lane and yes of course it's another double murder and it's been happening consistently these days when it's not st james it's west Milan. it's just all over jamaica right now and it seems as if these killers are killing people in in double in twos and trees. Taddy Diamond lost his life alongside a friend. We heard of St. James. We heard of West Milan. We have heard of Trelawney. We have, I don't know where we haven't heard. And this thing continues to bother me as it relates to why can't we get a lid of these situations? We all know the police are trying, but at the end of the day, the police can't be everywhere. The police cannot be everywhere. There was also a situation recently where a gunman went to St. Mary and killed a shopkeeper. And shortly after, the police took him out. I just hope and pray we can have more situations like that. Too much times, these killers go on the street, carry out an act, and have absolutely no encounter with police. But when they have situations like this, where they go out on the street and encounter police, I, I rejoice when those things happen. Now, according to the Jamaica Observer, investigate, investigating the police are investigating a double murder on Park Lane in Kingston, which was reportedly carried out by attackers disguised as lawmen. The incident occurred around midnight on Tuesday. One of the victim, the victims has been identified as Patrick Thompson, a chef from Parkland community. The identity of the other victim has not been released by police. However, it is reported that he was a security guard and a licensed firearm holder. He was also said to be of a Parkland address. A motive has not been established for the killing. Now, the minute you hear that one of the persons that have lost their life was a firearm holder, you would want to feel that he was the target. However, based on how these criminals operate these days, there is no sure target than any other, anybody else. Everybody is a target. But you'd want to believe that he's more of a target due to the fact that he has a firearm. And maybe these criminals knew that he had a firearm. Well, we haven't seen where they say the firearm was stolen or the firearm was missing. Park Lane and 100 Lane off Red Hills Road have been going at each other for years. I remember one of Jamaica's famous footballer, Kemar Daly, lost a relative in front of his eyesight in that area. And from that day until today, that player has never recovered. And he was a player of immense talent. Jamaica College Manning Cup player. But here we are, another day, and it's another double murder. And we know that people know who carried out this attack. And we know people know who the perpetrators are. And we want people to give information to the police. However, we all know not all citizens in jamaica are willing to go on the witness protection plan because that witness protection program needs a lot of cash however persons who might have witnessed this incident and who are willing to go on the witness protection program could consult a member of CTAC. if you notice i i said CTAC because CTAC seem to be the organization in within the police force these days that has the most trusted policemen 
Recently, we saw where a gang in Clarendon, the Ranko gang, and eight policemen, it is alleged to have been a member of that gang. So, people have to be very careful how they give information to certain police. That is why I am encouraged anybody who saw this double murder to give CTOP the information. Park Lane, off Reddills Road, as I said, and 100 Lane, they have been going at each other for years, not just today. And these communities are absolutely near each other. Persons in these communities would have been known each other's relatives, would have been going to school with each other. So they know when to strike and who to strike. Too many times persons have lost their lives like this. But it is what it is and our system needs to clean up. The guns need to get off the street and criminals need to get off the street. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. Until next time. Look out for our children, look out for a neighbor, look out for a loved one, and most of all, keep it locked on My Opinion TV.